Hey, good morning everybody. It's Dave here, Holiday for Two. Hope you're having a good day and a good week and happy Memorial Day holiday because we are spending our Memorial Day holiday at one of our favorite spots. And if you've watched the channel long enough, you know what I'm talking about. So today I'm going to show you in just a little bit White Spar Campground near Prescott and why it's one of our favorites. Let's go. If you like this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you'll be notified when I put out more videos in the future. So let's take a look at White Spar Campground near Prescott, Arizona. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two. Hey, Patch. What are you doing there, Patch? Do you like camping? <laughs> He's still trying to get used to all this camp thing. Not quite used to it yet, but he's getting accustomed to it. Aren't you, Patch? Yeah. We are just getting all set up. I've got my solar panel put up. We're getting ready to go up to uh, downtown and check out some stuff downtown. We're in spot number 18. It's a beautiful day. And there we are, spot 18. These are all spots you can reserve online. There's no hookups, but they do have a nice little table, fire pit. This is a pull through site. I like this one because you can pull through. If you come in late at night, you don't have to unhook. You just pull right in and stop, and then you can unhook later. And that's kind of what we did here. We had the Jeep to this weekend. Ain't that the truth? Wow. Happy Memorial Day, everybody. Hey, good morning, Patch. You smell bacon and eggs, huh? Yeah. Now we got cheese bread. Mm. Cheese bread. Yeah. And bacon. Mm. Yeah, it's a beautiful Sunday morning. Just showing everybody here how, compared to last year at Memorial Day, how much more green there is. This time last year it was all brown. Big difference. And uh, that's the highway that goes into Prescott over there. Kind of got a lot of traffic today because it, today's a big day. Lots of things going on downtown. I see him. I see you up there. You've got a big piece of apple or something in your mouth. Yeah. Hi, squirrel. Patch, do you see the squirrel? He's right there. Yeah. Hi there. <laughs> I don't know. There he goes. Keep going. There he goes. Whoa. Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. 
All right, let's go. We are, Patch and I are walking down to the creek. Somewhere here is a trail that everybody's been taking down to the creek. To the, we're going to Granite Creek. And Patch is gonna show me how to get down the right fetch. That way. Jeez. Oh, there is a creek here. Look, Patch. I see the little creek. This is Granite Creek. Stop barking. Be nice. See the hanging out. There's our campsite up there. Let's go up here. Oh, here you go. Here you go, Patch. Hey, Patch, you want to get in the creek? Might see some crawdads. This is Granite Creek. Get yourself all wet, kiddo. That's what's fun. Lost in the bushes there. Yeah. You don't want to be down here during a rainstorm because this will come up. All right. All right. Can you help me get out of here, Patch? Go up. Going. Going on a bear hunt. Going to catch a big one. It's a beautiful day. We're not scared. <laughs> oh, let's go this way, Patch. I think there's another way down here. Oh, yeah. There's the creek. Oh, ooh, that's a... Oh, that's really pretty. So if you're coming to Prescott for a big weekend, like a three-day weekend, Memorial Day, 4th of July, Labor Day, they will have arts and craft shows, a Western art show on Memorial Day, as well as 4th of July, they have a show and on Labor Day weekend. So those big three-day weekends, they have arts and crafts, antiques, as well as uh, the Western art show. You want to get there early on those big weekends so you can get a good parking space because they do fill up. And when you get there, plan on spending a few hours walking around, looking at everything, and there's so much to see. And there are places to eat as well in the courthouse area. So spend a few minutes, uh, take a little time, and do some dining around at some of the different fairs that they have. It's very dog-friendly. As you can see, we uh, brought patches down there and walked around. You'll see lots of people walking their dog. Very uh, dog-friendly. Now, when you get to White Spar, there will be a host there. But they may not be on duty, so there is a self-pay station. It's $14 for a single spot, $28 for a double. If you have the Golden Age Pass, it's half price. So $7, that's not a bad deal. Real quickly, you might want to write these down. I'm going to tell you what some of the best spots for long rigs. Number one, two, and three, and four, great. Five is kind of sloped. Six is great, but not much shade. Twelve is good. Seven is sloped. You want to watch out for that one. Eleven is good. Ten and nine are also good. Stay away from eight, though. It's got a sloped area. Uh, Thirteen is one of my favorite ones, as well as number 32, which is in back there. Uh, we stayed at 18, which is good. 19 and 20. 16 is another great spot, and if you have two people with you, Look for 17, spot 17, and spot 23. 24 and 28 up on the other end there, also great spots. 
And uh, some of the other spots are fine too, but they are a little bit smaller and narrower or maybe a little bit sloped. Stay away from anything past uh, number 32 on that back end. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this real quick tour of White Spar. It's a great campground, lots of different uh, things to do in the area. If you like this video, please hit the like button and thank you for subscribing and ring that bell. And of course, safe travels from Dave and Tammy at a holiday for two. Whatever you're doing, just get out and enjoy it. It's a beautiful world out there. Catch you later. Bye.